Why, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. If you do not remember, in the last episode, we went ahead and tore through the Ocean Monument just over there. And uh, I wanted to let you guys know that I did go through it, and I did go ahead and clear the rest of it out from the water. So now the inside of that is absolutely empty. So if you guys can think of any cool ideas that we could we could, we could could do in there or something, um, let me know. I was thinking about ho hollowing it out and taking like all the pieces of Presmarine out like this, like all these guys out of the middle so that it's just one big empty structure and then we could build something pretty cool in there but I like I said I'd love I'd love your guys opinions or what, what you guys are thinking with that because we could build a pretty cool base down there but we do already have a pretty cool base that we put some time into so um yeah I just don't know what to do now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the the more valuable things like our potatoes and things like that we can leave these we'll we'll take the fish we'll take some of the shards uh, we don't need to take the stick like um, yeah we're just we're just gonna take some some of the nicer things with us back home because obviously we are going to want them once we get back home um, but like there that, that's about it and we could take this this TNT as well we don't we don't need to take all the water bottles even though it would be nice to have uh, hopefully we just remember that they're coming out can you stack no Okay, good to know. Um, as well as we'll leave the bed out here in case we're out adventuring and we need a quick place to sleep or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and walk home, you guys, and uh, I will be with you there here in a minute. All right, and here we are back at home. Look at our beautiful home. Uh, we do need to make some maintenance stuff, so there's a few things that I'd like to do. For instance, start more of a farm system, because uh, what we have right now is not really the greatest. I mean, yeah, we have a ton of potatoes, very cool, but I think it'd be nice to have some carrots or something like that. Uh, so, so we'll keep that in the back of our head. I don't. We're not going to do that today, though. There are a few things I would like to show you today, however. Um, well, here we go. Come on right up into the house now. A lot of you are thinking, well, the ocean mining was pretty cool, right? Or at least I hope you're thinking that. Um, but what, what, I mean, what's the point? Why, why do we do the ocean monument? Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, and show you guys exactly why uh, here right now. Uh, so basically, obviously, we went through and we found our, um, we found these blocks of gold. Now, originally, yeah, it's like, oh, cool, gold, you know, what are we going to do? We're going to make a bunch of tracks or something like that. I know, I get it. Uh, it's not the coolest thing, but what we can do is we can go ahead and go into our foods chest. We can take ourselves out an apple here. Uh, and I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and craft one of the most sought after things in Minecraft, and it is the uh, the golden apple, the enchanted golden apple, but it's nicknamed the Notch Apple. Uh, this baby, boom! We just got overpowered the achievement. So why don't we go ahead and check that out right away? Here, uh, it requires getting an upgrade. So you just need to get the better pickaxe so that you can start picking up gold. And then once you do, I guess you would need hot topic as well, or they would assume that you need hot topic, but you don't have to have it. Uh, then you get the build a Notch Apple. You see what I mean? They're they're dubbed a Notch Apple as well. Now these Notch Apples, they will give you bonus hearts for a period of time I believe and will um, will give you regeneration for a period of time now I don't know if you guys want me to eat this uh, normally you know we would save it for something special like going to fight something so I think we're gonna do that and what we're gonna go what we're gonna save it for to go fight would be the ender dragon at the, when we get there but I thought I'd show you guys the crafting recipe for it right now um, and I would also explain a little bit more so so it would originally take 72 pieces of gold which obviously we have if we wanted to really go for it um, but I, I, I'm glad that we didn't have to and we could just go to the Ocean Monument. Plus, the Ocean Monument is a very cool underwater palace where we'd get the sponges and stuff like that. So I, I thought that was pretty awesome. Now, there was something else that I thought we could, sh we could, we, or I could show the crafting recipes for, which are our prismarine uh, things. So this is how you make prismarine, just in general. So let's go ahead and take a, take 16 of those. Now, we'll go ahead and put these. Uh, no, it's not like that. What is it? It's this no i think we might have to cook it actually let's go ahead and see uh like i said i'm very new to the prismarine stuff so uh i do apologize if i do not know crafting recipes for it and i am i am going to cook up these fish just because it's nice to have some other foods now let's go ahead and see see does this cook okay no it doesn't cook so so what what do we do with it all right so I was mistaken on the crafting recipes. So yes, this is how you make prismarine. Now there are other ways to make different things. Uh, if we go ahead and put a T pattern like this, uh, and then we put one, or a cross pattern, I guess it would be, uh, then we put one prismarine shard in each corner with the uh, with the shards, and obviously I meant to say the crystals there. Then we get our sea lantern. Now sea lanterns act as if they were glowstone. Now this is, I believe, the only thing we can do with these, so why don't we go ahead and do that again, because we have just the, uh, just the right number to make 
two of those nice sea lanterns. Now we will also craft the next thing, which is our um, prismarine bricks. These are how we make prismarine bricks. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't spit it out there. Uh, I couldn't remember the name. Prismarine bricks are made exactly like this. Uh, I'm not going to grab a ton of those, though, because I don't really want them. And then there's one more. Now, we're going to have to go ahead and go to our wool's chest. Oh, we do not have any. Uh, hopefully, there's a squid outside, so give me a second. Okay, and I drank our potion of water breathing because I didn't really think it was that big of a deal. Uh, I swam around to get a, get a squid. Okay, so the last one is our dark prismarine. Now, this one is pretty cool. Uh, I like the pattern on it a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and show that one to you. It's right here, um, but I'll show you the crafting recipe for it as well, obviously. It's very, very simple, actually. It is this and then just one of these guys in the middle. And there you go, you get dark prismarine. Now, I will actually go ahead and craft the other... Um, prismarine bricks that I did not show and I will go ahead and lay down the differences with these guys for us so that we can just take a look um, actually I'm afraid to sit down the sea lanterns because I don't want them to break um, but I think we're going to go ahead and give it a shot so these are the these are the four different bricks that we ran across while in the ocean monument now they are very cool if you ask me uh, I think they are very very awesome and I think they could be used for something pretty cool see what I mean that's why I was kind of afraid to uh, snap those but it looks like yeah we, we didn't get enough back to make a second uh, another prismarine lantern now we should probably put them in our house somewhere I was kind of thinking obviously we have this unlimited water supply right well we don't need all the sides covered so why don't we just drop one in there and now it's a little bit lighter in there i kind of like that a little bit and uh and see then we can fill our buckets still from there and it's got a little light under it i thought that would be cool uh, i hope you guys like it too okay so i think i think what i've decided is that we are going to build an ocean monument themed room um I know that we are obviously low on materials for that kind of thing but I, I think it shouldn't be too big of a deal um I will go ahead and we'll go ahead and cut this uh, cut out the area for it right now um, just to like commemorate you know us us actually getting to the ocean monument uh, I think we're gonna do it right at the top of these stairs we will do a three wide entrance uh, like this and then we will hmm yeah and then we'll do and then we'll do an opening up a little bit further back um, it's going to be a very cool room, and I will be with you guys once it's done. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Maybe it will just have to be a small room. Don't worry. I'll figure it out, you guys. Give me a minute. All right, and I am back, you guys. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and show me coming to the uh, actual temple again and getting our monument again and getting some of the uh, the stones. I don't think we need many of any of them, uh, so I'm just going to grab a nice little variety of them. As well as, I, I don't know if I should grab the lanterns. I think uh, having a few lanterns for the room would be nice. Oh, did not mean to drop down here, no problem. Uh, like I said, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we can always move things around. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just break a few of these and get some uh some of the shards that we can remake the lanterns back at our house now we're gonna go ahead and lay down some torches you'll probably see as i go through here that there are some torches already laying down like i said i went ahead and cleared all the water out of it this time uh it did take a little while but it was worth it um oh yeah we have our uh, our chest and stuff over here i forgot about this stuff anything in here oh okay a piece of coal for me to take and yeah these are the sponges that i i used to uh to do it but yeah very very cool i mean uh, I guess we could take some of this room down. Uh, remember, this is where the the gold is found, which is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, we don't need to take much, but uh, but some is nice. And then, uh, yeah, we'll take these ones because I'm, I'm pretty sure we're not going to need these in the center of the room. Hopefully, uh, we don't get any bad guys spawning down here now because of it. But uh, until we have a plan for... Oh, I heard a bath. It's pretty cool that they're not spawning down here underwater. Uh, what else? It should be pretty good for, I mean, like, all the stones. We really don't need many, I'm going to be honest. So I'll see you guys when I'm back at the house, I guess. I mean, that was it was a really short trip here. But, yeah, I just thought, you know, I'd, I'd take a look around and see if there was anything I had missed as well. You know, but I, I don't think there really was. I, I went through this pretty thoroughly. I still don't know uh, by heart, though, that, so I get I get a little lost at times. But, I mean, it's better than, it's better than what it was. Uh, yeah, and there's the front door. Sweet. So, yeah, uh, let me go ahead and get to the surface. Um... But we're going to get to the surface through the other way because then we don't have to fight those guys as much. And I'll see you guys when we get home. Now that I think about it, we do need to fight a few of these guys so that we can get their shards. What do we do? Ouch. These guys, they hit hard, man. 
No joke. And the easiest place to fight them is inside, so... Uh, yeah, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and fight a few of them. And then um, I will get back to you guys when I'm home. Alright, and here we are coming on home. I, I obviously came from the upway this time. I climbed a little bit. No big deal. But uh, yeah, so I ended up getting 19 shards. Not the best, but not the worst either. Let me go ahead and eat up here. Uh, and check it out. So now we're going to go ahead and make ourselves some more of the uh the glow the what is it called oh the sea lanterns i'm sorry i still need to get used to the terminology um but yeah so we have four four lanterns and we have a few of these guys this is very cool now i had a good idea uh while i was walking back what what are we going to need we're going to need natural i think it is yeah and we'll take this one piece of leather as well as we need this guy for here and we also need some wood uh where are you wood here we are and uh let's go ahead and craft ourselves some sticks to start off with now this was uh this is this is one of the cooler things that i i really do enjoy now um we're gonna go ahead and put this leather in the middle um and then we'll come on downstairs now let's go ahead and and first of all build the room obviously i have our little outcove here of where the room is going to be but uh, i haven't really laid the foundation for the room yet uh so let me let's go ahead and do that uh i think the dark will look good on the ground like as a walking space um, as well as I need to replace that stone that I carved out, no big deal. Uh, and then we're also we're gonna do, um, hmm, I think we'll do a line of this one all the way around. We don't need the corners, uh, but we will light them up so that hopefully nothing will spawn in there. Even though that'd be very rare, uh, we'll do a line of this guy uh, like this, and then we'll do another line of the stone here in the back. And on this side, like this. And then what should we do as our top? Um, oh, I got an idea. So what if we what if we continue the stone idea, right? And then right in the middle, we would drop one of these guys. And then what I actually wanted to do was we'll, we'll cut this out, cut this out, cut this out, and cut this out. And we'll go ahead and put our sea lanterns up here, just like this. Now I like that look a lot. Oh wait, this one too. I like that look a lot. You see, like it looks like it looks like a room that's really far away. I don't know how to explain it, but it really does look like like you're you're peering from one world into another, which is very very cool. And then finally, uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a little pedestal here. Uh, we'll put the dark brick on top, and then I want to go ahead and put this item frame here. Uh, right in the middle on here and then here and that's to commemorate the ocean monument now i was thinking about we could probably do something like maybe this and then i kind of want to cut this out here and here and then we're going to go ahead and just fill that in fill these back parts in with this block as well just so it all looks Ooh, we're going to see that from outside but that'll be okay i'm sure i can fix it later um, and then right there and then we're also going to need to do these ones down here with the dark block like this and like ooh, and like these ones as well i guess uh, this one and this one and then this one and this one and then finally we're going to go ahead and come over here to our infinite water supply and grab ourselves one bucket of water and place it on this side and another bucket of water and place it on the exact other side set so all in all it looks like there's some flowing water in the background it reminds us of the ocean monument i think that is very very cool and a very nice monument for the ocean monument now uh next i would like to work on something a little bit more important to what we need what we're what we're going forward and what we need to do in order to beat the game because i think we're at that point where we've covered a lot of things i know there is a lot that we can cover but obviously we need to start taking steps in order to make it there so oh you know what we should also do is we should go ahead and go downstairs remember we had this chest right here and we are going to go ahead and place it right by the ocean monument room in fact we can take advantage of this hole that we have here uh, we'll take this one and we'll also take this one and then now that will be where the chest goes and we'll put everything that we we used or got from the ocean monument there just so we know where it is being held now like i was saying we do need to do something and as you can see nighttime is falling now i'm not going to go ahead and sleep because the next thing we need to do is required for us to do it at night i'm going to go out and i'm going to fight our, us some endermen we're going to try to get some ender pearls uh, i will hopefully be able to show you guys show you guys me actually fighting them i don't know how 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 you know how common of an occurrence they're going to be so it may be a while before we actually run into one or several 
Um, but let me go ahead and ch check downstairs on what potions that we still have left, and then we'll go ahead and go out and uh, and find them. Though, what, what do we have here? We have oh, we have two regenerations. Those are actually really good for going out and fighting. And then we have this potion of strength, which is from the ocean monument. So maybe if I run into like two endermen and I need to clean them up real quick, quick, I can go ahead and drink this. Even though I'm just hoping to find one at this point. Like I said, I will be back with you guys once. Uh, hopefully, I find a few. Oh, and here we are. We have our first candidate now. I want to tell you guys a little bit about Enderman before we go ahead and fight this guy. Um, first of all, Enderman, uh, they have a lower chance of running or, or teleporting away if you don't look at their eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to keep our eyes down because if you look at an Enderman, he will teleport away. Now, it should only take a few hits. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to get into it. Ready? Okay, four hits, and did he drop anything? No. Okay, so that was our first enemy, though, and I'm sure we'll run into quite a few more here tonight. At least, hopefully, that's the goal. Uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, and we are back, you guys. As you can see... It's daytime. I only run into that, ran into that one Enderman last night. I was out fighting all night. If I go ahead and open my inventory, I can show you exactly how many things I've killed. Uh, as you can see, my levels have gone up only a little bit. Uh, actually, only like two levels. Um, but I, I killed like a ton of mobs, or at least it felt like it. Uh, but but it was only it was only because they were in my way when I was trying to find new land for the Enderman. See, you can see that uh, that they actually had some some drops here. I also killed some cows just because I was so mad that I couldn't find any Enderman. Um, so yeah, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and wait till nighttime again, and then I'll be back with you guys so that we can go ahead and fight Enderman. Or I'll just cut it, I'll just cut it and, and you will see me next time I find Enderman, because that's probably the best choice so that I'm not doing a bunch of, oh, hey, it's day, oh, hey, it's nights, uh, and wasting everybody's time with that. So, so give me a few minutes, you guys, and I'll be right uh, back when it's nighttime. Actually, everybody, uh, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and wait. Uh, and I was going to ask you guys, do you want me to farm them off of screen? Because I will do that. Um, or or I guess I could, I don't know. Yeah, I, I could farm them off of screen. I mean, if you want me to show you, me killing the Enderman, I mean, it's not super exciting. But I figured I'd go ahead and show you why I need to kill Enderman. And that would be for these Ender Pearls and these Blaze Rods right here, which we have had in our chest for quite a while, uh, I'm sure. And then we're going to go ahead and do that. And these are Eye of Enders. Now, Eye of Enders can be thrown. Uh, usually you only need like 10 of them, to be honest. Uh, any more and it's really overkill because you can go ahead and catch them and everything uh, but we're gonna go ahead and use these these three eye of enders and see if we can't get uh, get some something out of them next episode but I thought I'd go ahead and show the crafting recipe to finish off the episode today um, thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the episode remember to hit that like button if you're excited for the next episode uh, hit that like button if you're new to the channel don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and don't worry about catching up I'm sure um, that, that I pretty much filled you in on what we've basically done with the Ocean Monument and everything in this episode today. Um, and, and thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.